Hey guys, it's Dr. Tim Harrigan. I wanna to talk to you about an excuse I hear quite often in practice, and we see about 30 to 50 people a day. Um, I've heard it all, you guys. Uh, one of the things I commonly hear is, I'm too old for this, it's too late for me, you know, I can't make those changes now, it's genetic, or whatever it is. Guys, it is never too late to get healthier. We've all seen the situation where, you know, somebody goes through this big life-changing event, okay? Just picture Uncle John, he's 65 years old, he's never exercised, uh, he's never really eaten healthy, he's, let's just say his wife maybe passes away. So when we have a big life event happen like that, kind of wakes us up sometimes, right? We know John, let's say he was, you know, overweight, he was unhealthy, he had all these skin issues and stuff at 65, and he goes through this big life change, okay? It wakes him up, changes something, I don't know exactly what. Imagine now if Uncle John just buckles down, he's like, I, I don't know what to do, I've lost my purpose, uh, but I'm gonna start exercising every day, I'm gonna start eating healthy, I'm gonna start sleeping better, I'm gonna go enjoy more hobbies and things that I love doing. And so just imagine that person Person that's never taken care of their body at 65, 85, I don't care what age it is. And then imagine they do all these things, they totally 180 their lifestyle. They start exercising, eating healthy, sleeping good, just being more happy, doing the fun things of life. Now picture John, you don't see him for a year, right? You see him when his wife passed away, then you see him a year later after taking on all these cool habits, right? We can all picture how different he's gonna look, act, feel, his blood measurements are probably so much healthier, his EKGs are showing up so much healthier. We all know what can happen if we buckle down and we start making these really cool, challenging changes in our life. So we had a patient recently, she's 95 years old, she's an incredible human being, she's on zero medications, she, every time she comes in, she's so nice, she gives us all hugs and says, you guys are basically why I'm alive this long and I'm not on any medications, thank you so much. But I wanna use her as an example because we just did a full workup on her, a full exam, neurological, urinalysis, all these different tests on her. It had probably been a year since we had done it on her before. It was really cool, you guys almost every marker, almost every data point that we measured on her a year ago was better this time around. It was better, literally at 94 to 95 now, she's healthier at 95 than she was at 94. It is never too late. That excuse, I think, just paralyzes us. If your cells are still regenerating, which they are if you have a brain and a heartbeat, your body's constantly regenerating itself. Every second, you lose one to 10 million cells. This is incredible. Every second, a million to 10 million cells die off. Literally, they're, they're replaced with a new cell. One to 10 million per second are replaced with a new cell in our body. Your body's constantly regenerating. We can do things to make those next generation of cells healthier and healthier and healthier, but it takes time. We're so brainwashed to think that we need medications to feel good or to heal. Medications don't help us heal, by the way. They mask the problem typically as the issue gets worse more silently over time, right? So it's never too late to heal. It's never too late to make some changes and to change my labs, my blood work, to start exercising, start eating healthy again. It's pretty cool. The body is constantly regenerating itself. It is never too late. Ask our 95-year-old patient. Thanks, guys.